Hello, my name's Mark. I'm going to be your nurse today. Hi, I'm Jamie. So I see that your vital signs are doing well, but I want to assess your uterus and see how things are healing. Okay. okay? Alright. So I'm just going to pull down the sheep a little bit. Alright. Oh, I see we have some blood. On assessment, I noticed that your uterus is still a little bit soft, and I couldn't help but notice some heavy bleeding with quarter-sized clots. I'm going to massage your fundus and administer a drug called methylgrin. What's methylgrin? Methylgene, also known as methylgonovin, is an oxytocic ergot alkaloid used therapeutically postpartum to increase uterine tone and decrease hemorrhage and bleeding. Methylgen works by stimulating a variety of receptors such as adrenergic, dopaminergic, and serotonergic, the effects of which are profound in uterine and vascular smooth muscle. Common side effects are nausea, vomiting, and severe menstrual-like cramps. Potential adverse reactions are hypertension and ergotism, which includes cold and or numb fingers and toes, chest pain, headache, muscle pain, and weakness. Adverse reactions to report to the provider are chest pain and severe bleeding. Drug interactions include smoking or nicotine and other vasopressors that may cause excessive vasoconstriction. Self-administration management for taking methogen for heavy bleeding are indicated by soaking through one or more full-size pad in one hour or less. Start by taking two pills. If you're still bleeding heavily in two hours, take one more pill. If the bleeding has not slowed down in one hour, call your provider or emergency medical services. If the bleeding does slow down or stop, you can now stop taking methogen. Ginger may be taken for nausea, and ibuprofen may help alleviate cramps. Can you recite back to me three of the side effects I just mentioned? I want to make sure that you know what to look for and it will be important to give me a call. Oh sure, um, you said to make sure to get, let you know um, if I have severe nausea, vomiting, um, chest pain, or severe cramping and bleeding. Awesome. Before I give you this, I would like to talk to about you for your plans for breastfeeding. Oh, definitely want to breastfeed. Okay, well, with methogrin, it's important to wait 12 hours at, before, after dose before you start breastfeeding. Methogrin at this dosage level will end up appearing in your breast milk and could unfortunately be ingested by your baby. Oh no, well, what can I do to not have that happen? Well, we always want to support the mother's relationship with the baby and breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. To make sure that you're still producing milk while taking the methogrin, it could be beneficial for you to pump and discard the breast milk containing the methogrin. Okay. When the, ba when the bleeding subsides and you wait 12 hours since your last dose, you can then resume breastfeeding. And in the meantime, we can take care of the baby with some formula and you can hold them close while you're feeding them to promote, promote bonding. Oh, okay. All right. Um, as long as everybody's safe, I'm definitely willing to pump and dump. Great. I also have a drug for you called Rogam. I have it in your chart that during your pre-labor teaching it was explained and you went over it with you. Could, do you remember what it was? Yeah, I, I seem to remember just a few things maybe. Rogam, an RH immune globulin, is an immunizing agent given to RH negative women at 28 weeks gestation who have a negative RH antibody screen and again within 72 hours after a birth of a RH positive baby. This prevents production of antibodies and prevents hemolytic disease of the newborn in future pregnancies of women who have produced an RH positive baby. Administered by intramuscular injection with a standard dose of 300 micrograms, it has a rapid onset and peaks in 5 to 10 days. Possible side effects are dizziness, headache, hypertension, hypotension, rash, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, acute renal failure, anemia, fever, and injection site pain. Rare but adverse reactions include disseminated intravascular coagulation and intravascular hemolysis. Rogam can decrease antibody response to some live virus vaccines. Wow, fantastic recall. Thank you. So this is an intramuscular injection, so I'll make it quick and hopefully as painless as possible. Are you ready? Yep. Mark does the Z trick. Method of choice. Oh, 
Thanks, no big deal. Uh, I do want to make sure that your call light's ready so you can call me if anything comes up. Okay. I see it right there. Yes, it's ready. Okay. Hi, I see your call light's on. What can, what's up? I need something for the pain. Okay. Well, I see on your chart, um, I can get you some ibuprofen. It's really good for the cramping and would help alleviate some of the pain. Um, while I'm here, I would like to reassess your uterus to see how the methadone is working. The bleeding has definitely gone down. Okay. Mark performs another uterine assessment. Wow, that stuff works miracles. The bleeding has stopped and your uterus is firming up a bit. I will talk to the provider and we can probably hold off on the next dose of methadone which means you can anticipate resuming breastfeeding within 12 hours. Oh yay, that's wonderful. Yes, it is wonderful. I will get that ibuprofen you asked for. Thank you. Hi, Jamie. Sorry it took so long to get back to you, but it's been a long day. And pardon my hair, I have hyperagism. Oh, goodness. Well, we all have our crosses to bear. So, it's about an hour before you can resume breastfeeding, and I want to talk to you about taking some more ibuprofen. Do you feel like you need some? Um, I'm thinking maybe later on, about an hour or so? Well, actually, it's recommended that you take ibuprofen an hour before you start breastfeeding. It also is capable of crossing into the breast milk, but not to worry. It metabolizes quickly, so an hour is all you need. It will help keep the cramping down as breastfeeding can stimulate the uterine contractions. It will make, it, make the, more, the experience much more comfortable for both of you. And that way you can spend more time bonding and less time hurting. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, so I need to make sure that I take ibuprofen an hour before breastfeeding. I guess since I'll be breastfeeding this little guy soon, um, I'll take that ibuprofen net right now then. Thank you so much for looking out. For me and the baby. Absolutely. This is why I got into nursing. What are you going to name the little guy? Wizard Sticks. Wow. That is truly a beautiful name. Thank you. He likes to bub, 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 bubble postpartum. He likes to bub, 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 bubble postpartum. Bubble Coast Party. He likes to bub, 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 bubble Coast Party.